Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights with Malcolm Maestro Ericsson, the Paladin. Alright, we're in the Shining Serpent Inn, apparently. It's been a while. I recorded so much footage in the last batch of recording that I had storage for weeks. Which is fine when you're playing, but I have not really played uh, this game for uh, for quite some time, so I am I'm trying to pick up where I left off. Um, we have to talk with the undead hunter Drake, I think. Ah, I've heard of the impact you are making in Neverwinter. Good to know you are on our side today. Mm -hmm. And whose other side would I be on, Mr. Drake? I've never seen an infestation like this. Undead fester over time, but here, they arise before a corpse even cools. Oh well, I will lend my assistance where required. What we need right now is some order in the streets. People need help. First and foremost, we need you. Once people are safe, we can find the source of these undead and get down to their get down their throats. I'm sure Harbin agrees and will reward people accordingly for helping. Well, I am sworn to help those that can't help themselves, so tell me of any people that need immediate help. The lad Crystal and the lad Germany were spotted barricaded in their homes. More houses may be overrun. Crystal and Germany may also know of some strange happenings in the area, but we have not been able to interview them as yet. Well, tell me of Crystal then. His home is in the central east of the district, north of the Helmut Shrine. He is usually with a gang, but they appear to have disappeared. Well, tell me of Germany. Jemaine's home is in the west central section of the district. He has a brother too, but I have no news of him. I'll look into it. If you learn anything, keep us informed. We must know what we're dealing with, and if it's connected to the plague. I could ask him if he knows what, what the threat is coming from, but he doesn't know. They never know. It's always up to the adventurer to find out. Does this place have a second floor? First floor? Second floor. You foreigners are so strange with your first and second floors. Ground floor, first floor, second floor. That makes sense to me. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Knock, knock. Nobody in? Well, then this chest of drawers is mine. Thank you for your kindly donation. Knock knock. Again, nobody. A rope of light. Well, that will fetch some money. Knock knock. Yeah, nobody is uh, acting on my impulse to tell a joke. I don't know any knock-knock jokes, by the way. Okay, okay. None that, none that nobody hasn't heard for uh, before. Besides, I'd, uh, I tend to not remember any jokes uh, in foreign languages. Only Dutch jokes, and those don't really work, since they're mostly puns. Knock knock. Again, nobody. This inn must not be inhabited very much. Tell me, please open this. Ah, uh, it's done! Yes, Tell me's community service is coming along nicely. Under my watchful eye, he has done nothing illegal. At least that of a, that's what it will say in my report. Knock. Oh. 
Well, this box was not locked, so I must be uh, must have been allowed to take it from it. Knock, knock. There's nothing in here. Oh no, there's a chest. Open it up, please. Ah, uh, it's done. More gold. That's always so nice. Knock, knock. Okay, turkey. Yep. It's very easy, all of this. Ah, uh, it's done. Well, anyway. Knock, knock. Still nobody up here. And I think we're done here. These people's kindly donation has been accepted and will be used most properly when the time arrives. When I get to it. Mm -hmm. Now I've recently had a bit of a discussion about this particular uh, Let's Play campaign with my f with a friend of, friend of mine. He was never all that interested in the Paladin class. He always felt it a little bit too uh, dependent on buffing. I'm not entirely sure that's true. Did I already check this chest? Yes, I did. Uh, you can buff with a Paladin quite easily. I mean, there's plenty of spells you can uh, actually get for that. Here, yeah, Blast, for instance, very good buff. But Paladins are hardly ever reliant on that. And besides, a good uh, mixture of buffs will uh, make everything easier, like a magic weapon and blessed weapon. I just prefer uh, Divine Favor right now, because it's much more directly useful. And what does this say? Thomas Wheelwright Wagon Repair. I will want to go in there. But let's first go into the Hellmite Shrine. Bertrand. This man looks worried. He is constantly looking out across the street, obviously hoping so he will see someone. Mm. How interesting. Hello. Greetings, Stragglers. Forgive my disappointment, but your arrival brings me no joy. Where are my manners? I am Bertrand. You'll forgive me if I'm a bit distracted. I've been hoping that... Well, I need not burden you with my troubles. You just did. Out with it. What do you want? I'm sorry if I appeared to lead you, but as I said, I am distracted. I've been waiting for my brother. I lost him in all the commotion. Well, tell me of your brother. His name is Marcus. Marcus Penold. I shouldn't be worried. He's quite competent. And the heirloom he carries is powerful too. Hmm. Well, I haven't seen anyone by that name. That is unfortunate. But I am sure he is well. I will hear of him eventually. I am sure he will turn up. I have no doubt. He could always take care of himself. Safe passage to you. You'll excuse me if I return to my vigil. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's not gonna have ended well for uh, that guy. I don't know what's going on outside. Someone is making a ruckus. Hello to you. Greetings and welcome to this small house of Helm. What do you seek a blessing at this trouble time? Well, no, not really. Can you offer basic temple services? He's favorable, yay. Alright, let's identify these gauntlets. Gauntlets of sword play. And gauntlets of sword play. 
Uh, well, let's uh, get rid of all the stuff that I can't use anyway. All the copper rings, and that's not really necessary. The Aventurine. I only need one of these, and I prefer the Glass of Discipline anyway, because I'm not really reliant on parrying. Don't need a Rope of Light. And that's pretty much all I uh, need to carry with me. Do you have anything of use? Well, you don't have any magic weapons. You have potions, which could be useful. Well, I could use it. An amulet of health would always be nice, although I don't need it because I'm immune to disease. Uh, Parry out of wisdom. Yeah, I'm not currently using my wisdom modifier for anything beyond spells. Yeah, if you had a bag, I'd consider it, but no. Anyway, let's go back outside. Yeah, we've cleared most of these streets. Let's see, did we, uh... Yeah, Bertrand is waiting. Find Jemaine, Crystal, Missing God. And then, of course, stuff we can't do yet. This is to Crystal's home. Well... We'll get to that in a moment. Let's uh, deal with some more of these big zombies. Oh, that's liable to leave a scar. <laughs> Very weak. But guarding nice treasure. All right, let's let's get rid of this plague stuff. More experience points. Might as well do it. And here we have the gates to the Neverwinter Academy, which currently stands empty and abandoned, I'd wager. Such a prestigious building in the dip in the Beggar's Nest. Right, I'm looking for ah, there it is. Aldo Travel, and Matei. you said? Move to the big city, you said. You just watch yourself. If you're dead, so help me, I'll make you deader. Well, that's just rude. Don't make many friends, do you? <laughs> dead ones don't talk back, so I guess you're okay. Can't blame a guy for being careful, though. You ain't seen a tall folk named Hector, have you? Send him out for wagon parts and down if he just disappeared. Sorry I haven't seen him. Dang it, down. Do me a favor. If you see him, tell him to get those wagon parts back here on the double. Well, shouldn't you go look for him? Why is that my job? I gotta wait for him to come back. I ain't leaving the wagon until there's no other hope. Plain and simple. Uh, Alright, I'll tell him if... I see him. Good luck. I don't get good luck. I got stuck in a zombie filled filling with a broken wagon and a scorn of my wife. Thanks anyway, I guess. Well, aren't you just a little bit of uh bothered? Alright, now we let's let's go to the shipwright. Uh, sh uh, the wheel the wheelwright, not shipwright. Ship why am I thinking of shipwrights? Uh, probably because of Tropico 2. Always a shortage of shipwrights. And they're so darn difficult, or well, not difficult, expensive to uh, capture. Hey, Hector. Is there anything in here? The bookshelf. 
an official document. This document seems to be official. The wax stamp of what appears to be the official seal of Lord, Nash, Lord Nasher and delicately written script spelling out friendly endorsement for one Hayden, Lord Friedling. It appears to prove that Mr. Friedling worked as a coachman in Muran for an entire duration of the previous year and so couldn't possibly be present in the city of Calamport for an unmentioned crime. Several words are poorly spelled and the ink smudged badly in numerous spots, making the quality of this obvious forgery rather questionable. And the time of troubles. Ooh, I remember those times. No, I don't, because I wasn't there, but I remember hearing about those. Alright, Hector. This man looks exceptionally strong, but his manner is childlike and simple. He looks like he doesn't know what he should be doing. It is a long day. I could use a drink. You dead? Have to punch you if you are. No, you're alive. Hector Punch? Are you an imbecile? Me? Me a Hector. Me work for Alder and work hard. You gotta find wagon parts, but me only find broken stuff. You see any not broken anywhere? I saw him. He's looking for you. Ooh, he probably mad. Me can't find any parts, which means he can't move his stuff. He sure likes his stuff. Well, yeah, he sure does. Maybe you could, um, come with me to tell him there's no parts. He gets real mad sometimes. You can tag along, but don't get in the way. Good, good. Aldo is guarding his wagon in the middle of Beggar's Nest. Uh, just don't let him buck you. He gets mad. Oh, yes, but he has not seen the wrath of a paladin. No, not, not quite as mad as a paladin of Grongog, but still. That's the wrong game. And then again, I like the deities in, uh, in Ardenia quite a bit more. Since I don't know anything about uh, any of the deities in the Forgotten Realms, despite them being mentioned several times. Alright, Aldo, we found your oaf. Come take him back. Zombie bastards! Why, I ought to. I'll feed him some speedy bolts of death, I will. Travel, you said? Move to the big city, you said? Yep. More live ones. Imagine that. Now if it was just that fool Hector and my parts. Hey, what are you doing with Hector? Tallfolk idiot was supposed to get us some wagon parts. I tried, boss. Ain't no parts nowhere, those. I swear it. All right, all right, relax, you lummox. Let's just figure out what we do now. Time to abandon ship, I'll wager. No parts means no wagon. Ah, oh, well. Thanks for bringing Hector here, friend. I think we'll find our own way out now. No sense in staying. Sure is a fine wagon, though. I'll miss you, girl. Yeah, you always miss your own chariot. I sure would be lost without my car. No, I wouldn't be lost. I'd just be stuck at home. Don't need a single arrow. Why would anyone put a single arrow in a barrel? Anyway, uh, there's a barricaded home there, and a barricaded home there. Let's go explore the streets a bit more, making everything safe and sound. And look at that. There's some zombie. Woohoo! Shamble over here a little bit faster, you zombies. I kind of want to keep this combo going before I lose that. I really need faster enemies. 
zombies are just not cutting it. Ha! Nope. Come on, tell me. The episode is over. I want to save, and that's a lot of zombies. Alright, I'll just keep going for a little bit longer then. What I need? Uh, Cleave. Uh, and if I had been really smart, I would have been uh, using Divine Favor as I went into this because this is quite a lot of zombies, but none of them are really that strong. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.